Coach, looking good as always. Hope you're well. Oh, thanks, Herbie. I wore this shirt for you. <laughs> hey, hey, Coach, um, we obviously didn't get a chance to talk to you between the break in minicamp and now, but Frank Clark's situation, two-part question here for you. Uh, the first one is, what was your reaction to the news on his two arrests? And I'll, I'll follow up with the other question afterwards. Yeah, so listen, I, I obviously stay in communication with all our players during the break the best way I possibly can. So um, I have had a chance to talk with Frank. I'm not going to get into that. There's nothing that has taken place up to this point. Frank will be here and we'll we'll go forward um, with, with that. And obviously we, we keep tabs on it and he'll, his people will keep tabs on their side and, um, of it and we, we move forward. So that, that's where we're at now, but he will be here. Uh, not not now, but in a couple of days here when the veterans come in. And Coach, as a follow-up, with the uncertainty of his situation, if the league does take action, what's your, what is your comfort level right now at the defensive end position uh, that you'll be able to fill it if he misses time for the season? Yeah, so listen, we brought old 97 back and put him back in the mix here last week, so I, I think that's a good addition, and um, I think we're going to be okay there. And we've got a couple of young guys that we, we think are good football players too, so – next to Pete Sweeney. Let me add this to you too. And just a reminder that Chris was working both spots. So he has, we have the flexibility to move Chris out there. And that's where the Jerron Reed part of this, I think was a, was a big addition that, that Veach added to us.